Who wants ice cream? Ice cream. Bluebell has a devoted base of loyal customers who can't live without their ice cream. You might have one of their famous half-gallon containers in your freezer right now. If so, then get yourself a scoop or two of what you love the most and enjoy this list of the top 10 untold truths of Bluebell ice cream. Ding, ding, ding. Ice cream man, ice cream man. Bluebell Creameries wasn't their original name. Hold your spoon. You don't want to drop any of that precious ice cream. Yes, the name that makes your mouth water when hearing it wasn't what the company was first called. Bluebell, the best ice cream in the country. The first name they chose to call themselves didn't roll off the tongue quite the same as Bluebell Creameries does. What's in a name? Sometimes a name can be so challenging to remember that people give up. Almost all of the products that you buy at the store usually have short, little catchy names. Companies want to make sure you remember who they are, and the best way to do that is by having a snappy name. Bluebell Creameries was first called the Brenham Creamery Company. Founded in 1907 in Brenham, Texas, Texas? What's a Texas? The original moniker lasted for over 20 years. Hey kids, who wants some Brenham? That doesn't sound right, does it? No, it doesn't. Bluebell rolls off the tongue better than Brenham. The name change was made, and it just might be one of the reasons why they're so successful to this day. Oh, and making some of the best ice cream on the planet also had something to do with that success. Bluebell bakes their own cookies for cookies and cream. Let's eat cookies and ice cream and dress in pajamas in the middle of the day. Cookies and cream is a favorite among many ice cream aficionados. Who can not fall in love with creamy ice ice cream and chocolatey bits of cookies. Just hearing those words has to make your mouth water. Don't drool all over yourself, we're nowhere near done yet. It's okay if you need to get up and get yourself some more ice cream. No one can sit through all of this without at least a couple of scoops of their favorite creamy frozen dessert. Bluebell originally used Oreo cookies in their cookies and cream. The taste of Oreos paired exceptionally well with their high quality ice cream, but there was a big problem with the cookies. Bluebell Creameries had to pay people to dismantle the Oreo cookies. Do you think you're an expert at twisting an Oreo apart? Don't eat Oreos the way you break them open. And you're... Imagine how good you would be if that was your job all day long. It proved to be too costly for Bluebell to pay people to disassemble Oreo cookies, so they decided to make their own. Today, Bluebell makes every single cookie on site found in their cookies and cream ice cream. Not only are they skilled ice cream makers, but you can add bakers to that list as well. Bluebell's top seller. Everyone wants to feel as if their favorite ice cream is as unique as they are. Being unique is one of the driving forces behind human nature. Why else would anyone get a mohawk, dye it purple or green, and take all that time to form it into spikes? It's, it's totally unique. The desire to be seen as an individual is as human as it comes. That's why people like to reach for products off of the store shelf that aren't run-of-the-mill. The same is true when it comes to ice cream, and Bluebell makes sure they produce products for a wide variety of palates. The top-selling ice cream might be a shock to many, so shocking that quite a few of you might not believe it. What's the number one best-selling ice cream Bluebell produces? Homemade vanilla sells more than any other variety. Over half of the ice cream Bluebell makes and sells is homemade vanilla. Who would have thought that Rocky Road or Cookie Two-Step would be outdone by vanilla? Vanilla is the plain Jane of the ice cream world, and it's hard to believe that it sells more than anything else. Bluebell's banana pudding ice cream has a long way to go before it can claim the top spot. It will take quite a few banana peels to make homemade vanilla slide down the list. I love vanilla ice cream, okay? Bluebell's original product wasn't ice cream. So you can't imagine living your life without Bluebell ice cream. However, there was a time in the not-so-distant past that Bluebell didn't make ice cream at all. That's right, in the beginning, they didn't produce a single spoonful of ice cream. What? No way! That feeling in your stomach is real, and it's called reflected sadness. 
you now realize that at one point there was a world without Bluebell ice cream. That world had to be so sad and depressing. How could anyone live without knowing they had a tub of delicious ice cream in their freezer, waiting to get them through the good and bad times? So what did Bluebell make if they weren't churning out tub after tub of ice cream? The hardworking people at the creamery were originally making butter instead of ice cream. Butter? At the time, there was an overabundance of cream, and the good folks at what would soon become Bluebell were churning it into butter. A few years later, they would begin making ice cream, but butter was also still being produced at the factory. It wouldn't be until the late 50s that butter production would cease completely and Bluebell would focus all of their efforts on ice cream. The origins of their Bluebell name isn't what most people think. Have you ever found yourself spoon-feeding yourself Bluebell straight from the tub while wondering how they ever came up with that name? I wonder how that came about. Did they at one time have a cow named Bluebell? Maybe the factory at one time had a Bluebell and it rang to tell the workers when it was lunchtime. There have been dozens of dozens of theories as to what's behind the Bluebell name. Well, all of them are wrong. Here's the real deal. Bluebell is the name of a Texas wildflower that grows wild all around the creamery in Brenham, Texas. These wildflowers grow, well, like wildflowers, and they are all over the place. You can't go anywhere near the creamery without seeing the beautiful purplish color of the flowers. Yes, the wildflowers are more of a purple than they are blue. And flowers. People like flowers. Maybe whoever named the wildflowers was a little bit colorblind. So the name Bluebell comes from a flower and not the color of the bell around the first cow they ever milked. Bluebell's newest flavors. Whoa, a lot of new flavors. No one can ever say that the good folks over at Bluebell Creameries are lazy. Bluebell has a dedicated research and development staff who are constantly churning out new flavors of ice cream that people love. It might be hard for some to believe, but there are those out there who get tired of the flavors currently on the freezer shelf. How much ice cream does a person have to eat before they get bored of the over a dozen flavors that Bluebell already makes? No, no one is questioning your dietary choices. But if you fall into this category of flavor boredom, then you're going to want to head right out to the store immediately and buy both Bluebell's Salted Caramel Cookie and Happy Tracks Ice Cream. Why? Because both of these flavors are only available for a limited time. Sorry, it's for a limited time only kind of situation. If you put off buying either of these, then it might be too late the next time you're in the mood to eat ice cream. Do yourself a favor and avoid future regret by going to the store right now and buying a tub of each. Actually, hold on, at least wait until the video's over. But promise yourself that after you're done watching that you'll run right out to the store and get yourself a container of each of these two limited release Bluebell ice cream products. It's still a half gallon. You could pick up a half gallon of premium ice cream on your way home from work. It seems that every year companies are trying to give us less product for for more money. The packages on supermarket shelves are constantly getting smaller while the prices keep going upward. That's not the case when it comes to Bluebell ice cream. You won't see them cutting the size of their tubs. There are a million reasons why companies are trying to give customers less. Sometimes it's the desire to turn an even bigger profit, while other times they are appeasing special interest groups who want to limit the size of packaged food items. Anyone who thinks it's a good idea to make the tubs of ice cream smaller to reduce the waistlines of the public seems to forget that people can easily buy two tubs. You can fill a whole cart so full of ice cream that it takes more than one person to push it to the cash register. If there was one lesson to be learned, it's that no one should get in the way of people who have ice cream floating through their veins. Pump it through my veins, brother. You won't ever have to worry about Bluebell making the size of your ice cream containers smaller. Bluebell continues to sell their ice cream in true half-gallon containers. The company has even said that they would raise the price before reducing the size of the Bluebell tub. So you'll always have plenty of ice cream to share with your friends, family, and neighbors. 
Who are we kidding? You're not going to share something as good as Blue Belt with any of those people. You're going to keep all the ice cream to yourself. Mardi Gras King Cake Ice Cream. Good sir, tis I, the Prince of Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras is right around the corner, and you better keep an eye on the calendar. Every year, people flock to New Orleans to celebrate and to watch the Mardi Gras parade. There's a whole lot of fun and mischief going on throughout the city during Mardi Gras festivities. You don't need to be in New Orleans to celebrate, but let's face it, that is the place to be during Mardi Gras. If you aren't there, then don't sweat it. Blue Bell has a new flavor that will make you feel like you're in the French Quarter with a king cake in your hand. Mardi Gras King Cake Ice Cream has hit the shelves nationwide just in time for everyone to celebrate. Oh yes! This calls for a celebration. Don't worry, you won't bite into any small plastic figure while enjoying spoon after spoon of this cinnamon cake flavored ice cream. Traditionally, a king cake includes a small plastic baby figurine, and the person who received the piece with the figurine in it would have to host the next get together. Avoiding tradition, the smart people over at Bluebell have made the wise decision not to include any trinkets or dolls. No doubt their lawyers probably said it was a bad idea to include any plastic parts in their ice cream. Mardi Gras King Cake ice cream is everything you love about King Cake without the worry of chipping a tooth. Bluebell ships no matter where you are. So you're heartbroken about having to leave after a great visit to the state of Texas. What are you going to miss the most about Texas? The people? Maybe you'll miss the world-famous Texas accent. You're from Texas? That's right. Then again, perhaps what you'll miss more than anything else are the cowboy boots or 10-gallon hats. Nope, you're not going to miss any of those things the most. The one thing that you'll cry a river over is your favorite Bluebell ice cream. How will you ever go a single day without knowing there's a half-gallon container of Bluebell ice cream in your freezer? The thought of that alone has to bring you to tears. Well, don't worry, Bluebell will ship their ice cream to you through the mail. How in the world can they ship ice cream in the mail? No, you won't end up with a bucket of melted ice cream. The company behind Bluebell has come up with the perfect way of shipping ice cream so it doesn't melt. They ship it anywhere you want. Bluebell uses several pounds of dry ice to make sure your ice cream remains frozen during transit. So it doesn't matter if your local supermarket stocks its shelves with Bluebell ice cream or not. The only thing that matters is that you live in a place with a zip code. Licking containers of Bluebell became a trend. Taking the lid off and licking it and then putting it back. Leave it to the internet to gross people out and get everyone to do stupid stunts. You may have heard about two such events that involved a young lady and a man both licking containers of Bluebell and putting it back on the shelf. Each of the incidents was separate, but they were both motivated by the same online trend. It seems some people thought it would be cool to lick a container of Bluebell and put it back on the shelf. We know what happened because they filmed their dubious deed and shared the video on the internet. It wasn't long before these videos went viral and everyone was wondering if their Bluebell ice cream was licked before purchasing it. You want to lick? Much to the surprise of many YouTubers, licking ice cream and putting it back on the shelf is illegal. Yes, at least one person so far has been charged with a crime. Don't even think about following this crazy trend. Okay, so maybe it's hard to resist wanting a lick of something as good as Bluebell ice cream, but whatever you do, pay for it first. No one wants to have to question if anything's been done to their ice cream before they open the lid. Tampering with food is illegal, and for good reason. When it comes to ice cream pranks, stick to brain freeze challenges or something. That's a much better use for a tub of delicious Bluebell ice cream. Yay! Tap on another great video, and to all our subscribers, thanks, and be sure to ring that notification bell.